Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across our industry. I'm Barb Mitchell with JSA, and I'm so honored to be joined here by John Denemark, who's the senior, senior vice president of Carrier Provisioning. For TransUnion. It's a mouthful. It was a bit, of a, <laughs> a bit of a mouthful, but so happy to have you here. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank yeah. you. So we're on day two of ITW, and uh, I know this is a regular event for you. Uh, how's this year feel so far? It's definitely a regular thing. It's uh, so far going great. You know, we started out at 8 a.m. yesterday and been uh, full throttle ever since. Yeah. So good show so far. Really appreciate the folks moving it a little bit. So we got Mother's Day at home this time. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah that's so true. Yep. That's a very yeah. good point. Yeah, just that extra day makes a big yep. difference. But uh, so let's just start by giving our audience the benefit of hearing from you, uh, straight from you on just, t you know, tell us about TransUnion. Sure. Yeah. Why don't I just introduce myself and the company? Sure. So I am the senior vice president of Carrier Provisioning. Um, Carrier Provisioning is part of the communications business of TransUnion. We um, are focused primarily on order management and on providing automation solutions for carriers in uh, some of the legacy areas, honestly, of the industry. So think about number portability, think about the buying and selling of wholesale access, think about numbering and telephone number management. Those are the areas where we play and we actually play a leading role in the industry. Okay. Um, the other thing I, I'd be remiss not to say is that um, we used to be called Newstar, and a lot of our customers in the industry still know us as Newstar, and that's okay, but we were acquired a couple of years ago by TransUnion, so we're now part of, fully integrated part of TU. Um, we still have the same great products and services that our customers rely on us for, but we now have the scale of TU behind us, okay. so it's a good thing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for yeah. that uh, that background and that clarification. And yeah. I believe you have a new set of offerings around managed services, such an important piece of business. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we've got these managed services that, uh, that are really taking off um, in the marketplace. Uh, as I said, our customers know us for SaaS solutions, automation solutions, and we've been providing those for many, many years. And over that time, we have built up a really great staff of people. And these person, these folks really know their stuff, and that it's that knowledge that we're leveraging for managed solutions. Okay. Um, and we believe that our solutions are really differentiated and unique in the industry, primarily because number one, of the people. They we we don't claim to be able to do everything, but in the areas where we play, like um, the wholesale access management and portability and so on, we. Uh, we do those the best. We know the business at a very detailed and deep level, and we're able to uh, provide the benefits of that knowledge to our customers through the managed services. Yeah. The other couple of things there are is that um, when you engage us for managed services, you're not paying us for bodies. You're paying us for results. We get paid on outcomes. And I guess the third thing is, is we, we're... Um, we tailor the managed services specific to each customer and we can scale them. And we've got the flexibility to provide them in the network area and in the voice services area. We can work within the cut carriers, any carriers, BSS stack, or use our solutions. We're very flexible that way as well. And the final point there is that we're the only company that can provide these managed services together with automation solutions. And, and when our, our carrier clients engage us in that way, both managed and the automation, that's really where the home run results come from. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so thanks for laying that out so clearly. And I, I, you know, as you're speaking, I'm hearing a lot from you around just really, again, staying connected to your customer base, understanding yes. what they need. Yes. A part of what makes that possible I don't want to speak for you, but I think it's is, 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 is sort of <laughs> understanding the market trends, what people are talking yes. about. Obviously, at a show like this, uh, certain you're having the opportunity to be in some of those conversations. But, sure. but what are some of these trends that you're seeing that are important? Well, first and foremost, our customers are asking us for this, you know, and, and they're, they, they, um, 
um, they appreciate, I think, the, the solutions and the services that we've delivered over the years. And, and we have the ability to talk to them about expanding our footprint in their operations. And that's great. We really appreciate that. Um, some of the trends that are driving that um, are, number one, there's a lot of focus on cost reduction. Right. And um, by taking some of these um, some of these legacy operations and outsourcing them, we can deliver a lot of benefit to the bottom line because we can do these things um, pretty uh, much more efficiently than our customers can on their own. And we've got that that specialized skill set that is increasingly starting to sort of be missing out of the of the industry. So that's trend number two is, um, for example, in the wholesale world or in the portability world, a lot of people are retiring. These are legacy areas. Um, they have legacy systems involved. People are moving on and new people are not really interested in doing that work so much. They want to be on this on AI. They want to be doing yeah. AI, IoT, all of that stuff. Right. We can do it, you know, and we're the best at it. So that's trend number two. Um, and I guess trend number three is, you know, to the extent that you really have to focus your workforce these days on the areas that matter to you and your customers. Um, a lot of carriers are looking to focus on, you know, sort of the revenue producing areas. Again, legacy operations areas are not um, uh, not a key focus thing, you know, but we can take care of it. We can modernize those areas. We can automate them and we can provide a managed service around it. Amazing. Well, thank you for sharing all of this with us. And uh, we're sort of halfway through. It feels like we were talking before. It feels like we've already had two weeks here, but yes. it's really only been a day and a half. Yes. What are, do you have anything um, that you're hoping to finish, you know, complete by the end of the week or conversations you want to still have? What are you most looking forward to? Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's just the customer closeness. You know, yeah. we really um, we really work hard to stay tight with our customers yeah. and to understand their needs. We've got about 300 customers um, in mostly in North America. All of them are carriers in one way, shape or form. Okay. We process um, almost a billion transactions on their behalf every year via our SaaS solutions. We've got about 12,000 active users of our solutions in the industry. So we do our, what we do, we do at scale. Yeah. And um, the way we can get there is we just need to stay close understand our customers needs understand what they're looking for and then deliver that's our that's the formula yeah and it's a time-honored formula it's not like anything brand new but that's what yeah. we do and so that's what i'm hoping for out of the show is, yeah. is to continue those customer conversations and really understand yeah. what they're looking for fantastic thank you so much all right really appreciate it. it's a busy week so we really appreciate you taking the time today to chat with us all right well i appreciate yeah. the time thank yeah. you and thank you to our viewers for tuning in again here today to JSA TV, where we're coming to you live from ITW 2024. Until next time, stay tuned.